Hey guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This is part 2 of making a platformer, and I'll be showing you how to put jumping and gravity into your platformer game. So first off, we're going to start by making a variable, so if you just go into data, and make a variable, and we're going to do similar to what we did last time, but we're going to do vertical speed this time. So VSP just stands for vertical speed, so you can write out vertical speed if you want, but I just find this a bit quicker. And we're going to do what we did here last time, and we'll do a when flag clicked forever. And just before that, we're going to set vertical speed to zero. So when, when the game starts, it'll set to zero. And we're going to consistently change Y by vertical speed. And then we're going to add in an if then else. And just make sure this is underneath. And what we can actually do is if we just drag this into there, so if it just goes from this forever statement into that one, and this one just underneath the flag clicked, and that just makes that a bit more compact. That's what we're going to do over here. If touching ground, which is just called sprite 2 in this case, um, otherwise you do something else, um, whatever we do when we're not touching the ground, um, and then we're going to do the jumping, so if then, so if up arrow, or whatever you want to do as your jumping character, so if up, up arrow pressed, then set v speed to 15 so just try that now let's press the flag except he doesn't come down so when he's not touching the ground we want gravity to apply so we'll just set this to negative one so then when he's not touching the ground his vertical speed will change by negative one so what you notice is he doesn't stop because his v speed stays at negative 15 when he hits the ground so as soon as we hit the ground, we just want to set the v-speed to zero. So now when we jump, it sets back to zero. Um, and just with this, make sure you've got this set v-speed to zero at the top, because if it's got at the bottom when you jump, um, it'll set the v-speed to 15, and then it'll immediately set it to zero, so it won't do anything. So just make sure that that's at the top, and he'll jump. Except you may notice that he, he doesn't like land on the top of the ground, he falls into the ground a little bit. So to change that, we've got to make a block. So if you just go into more blocks, go make block, and we'll just call this ground collision. And you just open up the options menu, which is just underneath that, and ignore these things. We just need to tick run without screen refresh. And then just drag this down here and get a repeat until, so we want it to repeat until he's not touching the ground. Um, we're going to move him up by one when he's not touching sprite 2. And then we only want this, so as soon as he hits the ground, it'll move him up until he's not touching the ground anymore. So we'll just put this underneath the vertical speed. So what you'll notice is he's jittering at the moment. So to stop that, we just need to move him down just by one at the end, so that gravity doesn't apply. So change Y by negative one, and just put that underneath. And now he should have a smooth landing. Thanks for watching. If you had any troubles or suggestions, feel free to post a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.